it's what, six, seven hundred people turned out today? That's what, that's what everyone's saying? Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man. Four hundred yesterday. Oh. Seven, eight hundred today. Goodness. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is, you yeah, know, forgive us because we're, I mean, except for this guy. This guy's old had it doing the Let's Play thing, but we're all still pretty new at it. But we just figured we'd have a little talk and come in close. We're going to wrap. What? We're going to wrap? Yeah, man. Well, you want me to drop a beat or something? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not like that. You know, like the, the old high school counselor. Like, oh. Let's rap. Oh, oh, that. Oh, that kind of rap. Oh, bad. I don't want to do that, man. Oh, man. So we're just going to tell you guys like what it's like to start a Let's Play channel. Some of the stuff you might not know about it. Some of the, the things you never think you're going to run into because you will eventually run into a problem that will break your channel that you didn't even think about. But uh, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Brian. I'm from Player Ready. I'm Bruce from Player Ready. I'm Philip from Player Ready. And I'm Kyle, or Jamie's Coffee. Yes. <laughs> he is one of our good friends. He uh, kind of great. actually helped us get into this. I did. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, thanks to a visit. Yeah. From, uh, certain, yes. Your, your mother met Jared, and Jared yes. said, hey, you know a guy who does a Let's Play channel. He's pretty successful. We should start a Let's Play channel. channel. <laughs> Jared, Jared's not here today. He no. has a gig. Yes, this is, this is our faux Jared right here. <laughs> Jared should be in this seat, but it's... I think you're better. You're better than Jared. Yeah, for sure. That doesn't mean very much. Yeah. But thanks. No, that means a lot <laughs> to me. It means a lot to me. It, it, it was just essentially not like I just I was just on like a tour of um, disclosed, but where you guys work. Yeah. And it's just this one guy he's just like in the time, he's like, hey, you. He just pulls me to the office, like, did I touch something? His stuff looks expensive, and he and he was already spitballing the idea though. I don't know why you got until you got the idea for me, but he was already spitballing the idea. He's talking about you know stuff like scene and game drums and stuff like that, and then I heard that you guys went to it. And I really wanted to end with this, because I've never really seen like a collaborative effort like this. I've seen I've seen on YouTube some people that try to come together like all these guys, but nobody's done it. It's like they do it for two months, and you know, this guy, you know, he wants out, yeah. and this guy, well, I'm, you know, Philip is here, Chris doesn't want it on it, and so far you guys have been doing it for a year, so. Yeah. Hey, Thank you so thanks. Thanks, everybody, a uh, year. <laughs> What I'm really curious to learn about with this, because I don't, I don't know what it's like working together and how work is split up. Well, I'm going to first say I would never recommend starting a Let's Play channel with more than two people, ever. <laughs> that's the first thing, don't do a four-person Let's Play channel. That, that's what I'm going to say first. Do two channels work together? Four people is pure insanity. But we've done good to work together the whole time. We've done well to be able to say, this is what we want to do. This is what we agree upon. We've had ups and downs. We've had moments where we thought we were going to split for sure. Uh, but you have to take what you're good at and what you want to do with the channel. Like for me, I'm doing a lot of technical, technical stuff, a lot of the editing. And then he's doing graphics, and he started doing more editing. Philip does the artwork, and he's really, he's on every video practically. Philip is almost on everything, so he's like the main, he's almost the voice of the channel. He's got the best voice of the channel, so he's the right guy. I don't know about the best voice. Yeah. Italian. Yeah. It's Italian. I have the Italian voice on the channel. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun, right? Bring your streets and stay with what you have in common uh, uh, And what you have in common. And what else? You definitely don't try to go out of your wheelhouse. Like one of the first things we said, and it was like the founding tenet of the channel was, we're not going to play something because it's popular. If something's popular and we want to play it, we're going to do it. But that's why, like, what, a third of our channel is taken up by Dreamcast and Sega Saturn games that were out before most of you guys were even in high school. So it's like, you know, but that's a little niche that we cornered out for ourselves, and it's paid off. And those are fun to play. That's, that's the thing. We tried a little bit to kind of like, hey, what would be a good game to play and maybe get more views? And we tried. Not really so much. We still kind of want to play those videos. Well, we didn't really see the return. It's like, why are we doing that? Let's just play the games we want to play because you're going to have more fun. And if you're not doing it for fun, we shouldn't even do it. And that's yeah. the key that every time we have a hiccup, it's like, look, let's get back to fun because that's the only reason to do it all. If you're not having fun, don't do it. Yeah, fun, fun comes in with the longevity thing, too. I've, I've had many friends that I've met online that do this. And they're like, you know, with Five Nights at Freddy's, I think everybody remembers that era. Um, then that was going on. There's, there's people that are like, I'm going to start doing this. I started playing this, and then you know the whole craze ended. People, you know, stopped being interested in it. Well, they're still <coughs> crazy about it, but it's died down quite a lot. And they quit doing it because they weren't getting the numbers that they wanted. You need to have fun, or you're going to get bored of it whenever you know those views stop coming.
Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta have fun with it because me and Chris always do old school stuff or fighting games. That's what yeah. we do. That's what I like to do with him. That's fun for us because we're old, and that's what we like to do. <laughs> <laughs> or with me, style stuff. Some stuff we play as new is more of the old school style. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If we, if we, if we play new stuff, it's it's very retro style. Yeah. With like me Lovers and, was a Lovers was a good series. Yeah, yeah. Lovers good. Lovers was good. Or with me and Jared, uh, we always we play Marvel stuff. But that's because he wants that's what he wants to do, and that's what I like. That I was like, yeah, dude, you want to play all the Marvel games? Cool, dude. I'll do that with you. That's fun. That's his aspiration. He wants yeah. to do the entire collection of Marvel games yes. that never existed. Yes. On the channel. Now so Brian we're... is the guy holding a wine glass and a robe, <laughs> who's just like swishing it, and like, who would like to play a round of? Chroma Squad. I've been there. I can't uh, he's he's got the oddest taste out of all of us, and I've I've been with him on a couple of them. Uh, we're so, doing Soul Reaver right now. Yeah, we're doing Soul Reaver. Classic, Soul but. Reaver right now, which is old school. It's classic. It's rough though. That game is rough. We yeah. Uh, yeah. Just just yeah. do. If you're gonna do this, do what you like. Do do what you want to do. Don't worry about what's popular. Just do what you like to. Play. The Would you only, like to play? I think the only game that we've done that was like, a, like, hey, this is coming out, this is popular, let's do it right now, so we can, you know, because we want to play it, but it's also like, let's try, you know, we try to get that initial hype. Was the um, Trials Fusion? Yeah, yeah we're talking about that anyway. I saw the trailer for Trials Fusion, awesome level Max, a you know, freaking unicorn with the rainbow with the cat riding. Of course, yeah, play the unicorn. Game. So I was like, we're gonna get that tonight. Riding, off yeah. on the internet, and, and it's yeah. done really well for us for, for player ready. And then the Mega Man uh, collection. Want to play that one? So Philip, he's our resident expert at the first. Yeah, couple I'm, the, of I'm the Mega Man guy games. again. So I'm old. That for us. I, I've been playing that game since I was oh my god, ten, <laughs> ten years old. Man, and I'm 35 now. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a long time to play a game. You'll find if you try to do that on an early. No, you only have you subs and all that. <laughs> you try to do what's trending. There are. Millions of seeds, other channels trying to do the same videos. It's, it's no point to try to do that trend if you're starting out because there's going to be a million videos ahead of you. Just like yeah. you have an edge on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, that yeah. happens yeah. too. Can't compete with PewDiePie. So no, no, never no. 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 And we beat PewDiePie on a video before, you know, we're not going to beat him. I was trying to beat him once. Yeah. 500 doesn't beat anything. No. <laughs> we actually uh, we actually beat a lot of the internet to Awesome Level Max. Yeah. Just because like we were at uh, Jared's house, which is the studio, Jared's living room, which studio uh, he A. Hates. He <laughs> hates it. Um, but we were waiting on the game to download while we were sitting there, waiting to record. Then we waited to upload it the next day for some dumb reason, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, GG. you wanna talk about some tactical stuff yet, or yeah, some the, slow stuff? Let's do the tactical stuff because the weird thing about doing a Let's Play is you can come into it with almost any level of technical expertise, and you can come into it with almost any level of equipment. Like, we lucked out in that Chris and Jared are musicians, so they already had microphones, recorders, and Chris is a filmmaker, so he already had cameras. We almost had everything except our capture devices, but you do a completely different type of, type of setup than Oh, yeah, I mean, with, with them, I've been to their place. They have, like, you know, come up, there's this television on the wall, and there's all these, like, game consoles everywhere, and there's just cords <laughs> everywhere, and this little thing over here that has a red, like, bleeping light, and I'm like, do I touch that? They, they have more hardware. They actually have machines to record at me. I do stuff in the computer. There's software that you download, and it's actually pretty simple. You just just download it, make sure that it's scanning your game field, just press a button, and it's going. So, for me, it's been more, I guess, homemade, if you will. With them, it's a lot more complicated because whenever you're doing consoles, you can't just hook up a computer to it and just record. It's more complicated than that. And I don't even know how that stuff works. I just know that there's just... Especially if you're, doing, if you're doing an old school console, like uh, we did, no. sometimes you have to hook it to a VCR. And then Wait, hook really? it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's, our, what's our Genesis setup? Genesis, Genesis VCR, VCR capture up converter, converter, capture box. Yeah, oh, up converter. Oh, that's right. The up. I forgot the up converter. Yeah. Just to get Genesis it. VCR up converter capture card television. And then oh. we have to use a Talk specific card because one, yeah, of, one of the ones we good, use, man. if you have a sprite-based game, sprites just disappear. 
Yeah, yeah, if you're looking, just yeah. don't yeah. yeah. devices. So we have two of them. We have the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Hapag, or Hapagi, I don't know, HDPPR2. And it works really well. And it came with component input. And we learned really quick it's not really worth using that component input, uh, especially not for AV, because you can use it both ways. And then we had an Elgato HD60. So over time, we learned that the Hapag is easier for just getting the clip, putting it right onto a timeline, and it works really easy as far as that, other than the fact that it has sync issues for audio. So there's another process for that we maybe talk about later. But the Elgato HD60, if you're going to capture, say, an old game that has sprites, when yeah. they get hit, they blink. Yeah, so they blink. The HD PBR2, they will disappear when they start blinking. Yeah. You're like, where'd the character go? So we have videos where the, the sprite will disappear when they're getting <coughs> hit or when they're loading. Whereas the Elgato will not do that. So if you're doing a lot of games like that for a console, you don't want to go with the HD VR2, you want to go with the HD60. And we didn't have no clue that was going to happen. I just went home yeah. and like, the guy's disappearing. Mega Man's not in the video. Where'd he go? <laughs> but yeah, well, we have empty, invisible Mega Man running around. So uh, that kind of stuff's like, back to hurt us. Yeah. Like, wait, it's just like. <laughs> There's a little yellow oh. icon down there. I press the button, it's red, and then wow. But the, the, the only thing that, like, the problem is with that, the only thing that I've come across with, like, recording stuff in a computer, is sometimes, for whatever reason, it's just like, hey, you know, here's your footage. I forgot about the audio, but it's just, <laughs> it's just gone. That's the biggest problem I run into. Or maybe, you know, you just have this, you know, just black file, and it's just like, I can oh, hear nice. it. But you can't see it. it. Yeah. And there's so many softwares. Like there's and another problem is um, I work with a lot of buddies of mine. I have a buddy over in Norway, um, and England, and uh, I think Phil yeah, Philippines is where the other one is. And we all get in a Skype conversation. The problem often is audio leveling. You know, maybe the game's too loud and I can't hear my friends and stuff like that. You gotta tweet stuff like that. And there are softwares that let you record that off like separately. You can record your game, your you know, game audio your Skype and get it all in separate files, but the problem is a lot of times, guess what, then, you know, your footage isn't as high quality, right. it's, it's recording at a lower frame rate, which basically yeah. just means there's not as many pictures of it and it just, it gets really choppy. So, it's really, really hard to find a program that is solid, if you will, and there's which, so many. Which program do you use? Um, this little program called Fraps, I think it's like 15 bucks to get it, and it seems like a really simple program, the only problem is the file size is really big. I record, whenever I record, I batch record. I'll record for maybe an hour for one video, and that's maybe, you know, it borders on 100 gigabytes. It's a lot. Oh, wow. Damn. It's a lot of that. 100 like, gigs. I have a two terabyte hard drive in my computer for footage. How, a love. How long is that? How long is that? 100 gigs. 100 gigs? Yeah. So that's like 60 minutes of footage. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 No. Is, I know. Oh, my goodness. I know. It's <laughs> oh. horrible. This is why you record <laughs> oh, and edit oh, and then you move on. It's, that's, it's mm, so yeah, bad. We come in at about three gigs per file a lot of times. Ooh. That's such a, that's such a different it's, thing. It is. It's a, but the thing is, the software I've been using for three years, never a single problem. Not one. No. You know, all these other things, you know, I, there's a software I've tried for the longest time called DX Tori. Okay, it, it, it's really small files, so like you said, maybe like three gigs or something. Well, yeah. But the problem is sometimes it would have a problem where it didn't get the game's audio. Sometimes it would have a problem to where it didn't recognize a certain game. It was not, it's like, you know, it's, I don't even remember what the codec is called, but there are certain codecs for different files to record different types of stuff, but a lot of times it would break your game. Like, I had to reinstall, like, a Fallout New Vegas one time, because I got in, and it wasn't compatible, and it scrambled the game file somehow. Hmm. You run into these really, really obscure problems, and a lot of times nobody else has encountered them or talked about them. So this is very much a process of just that work. Nope. That. Maybe five. You need to start a blog. And it's, and it, it's, it's, it's five. And it's five hours later, and he's out there, and you're like, ha! Ah, I have my footage after that. I've recorded for 20 minutes. It's here. It is. Where would the audio go? Yeah. Right. No, it's, it's a very painstaking process. So this is, goes back to the enjoying yourself thing. You're not going to make it <laughs> in your career if you do not love this. You are going to, you are going to cry. You're going to slam your hands yes. on the table and give up if you're not doing what you enjoy with this. Because, yeah, even if you spend a good time playing the game, then you're going to go to the nightmare sometimes of editing the game. Because, like, with us, the, when we first started, back to the audio issue, I went home, actually, Derek edited it first. He's like, hey, the audio's not matching up. Like, you guys play, and then it's not matching up. 
was like, I don't know, dude. I didn't really pay attention. I wasn't editing at that point. Then we played this tennis game. He uploaded the video, or I, I don't remember who did that one. And I'm like, this is way off. Like, they're cheering when nothing's going on, and then when they should be oh, cheering, I, 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 it's like, what's that Oh, yeah. And that's the oh, video yeah. where I realized yeah. we had the audio problem with their capture software. Yeah, I remember you told cool. me about that. Like, yeah. a month in. Yeah. And so I had to find a way to solve that. I finally found it on, like, a premiere uh, forum talking about trying to screen cap, like, a webcam or something, and I downloaded, uh, what's the program? Handbrake? Handbrake. I download handbrakes. So every time we record a video with the one capture card, I go home and I immediately handbrake all the files so that we have the audio. But I want to keep the video as intact as possible. So I keep the video from the original video and separate it. And then the audio from the re-render. So we have the audio from the re-render, the video from the actual capture, so we won't lose any kind of quality of video, and sync them back together. And it's real easy because once you run it through, and I learned it's basically the capture device is trying to do a variable uh, frame, rate. frame rate, I think. So this fixes it by saying set it to 2997, render the audio back out, just pass it through, and then it's good. So every time we do a video, that's the first step. I go all take it all in, render all that audio out, and make them separate files called the fixed file. And I put those in. So we didn't know that until a month in, and we started doing that on every video. Whereas you just run into those things. Or you get home, like you said, with the audio. Like us, yeah. we, we don't even know. Get home. I might yeah, you guys are in separate building. I, yeah, you're like, <laughs> transfer the files. I go to edit. I say, wow, we have no audio on the second part of this video. None. It only happened <laughs> once. But I just put a music bed kind you of one. You want to get creative and yeah. just like have Bryce sit there and go, psh. <laughs> <laughs> right, baby. But I like to talk about the flip side of this. So I can see we have a few like confused faces. You're like, what is this? Uh, but what you, it doesn't have to be this complicated. For us, we like to have, this is a kind of like, oh, doing it so separate like this is to kind of have control. For me, whenever I make stuff, I like to have all my files separate, I like to have everything, but there are softwares out there that make this a lot easier if you want to. But the downside is, it's you have your video, you have, if you want to do face cam and show your face, it's plastered up there, but all your audio is together. There's softwares like, um, there's one called OBS, Open Broadcast Software. You can, you that's can, what we live stream with. Yeah, it's OBS. Yeah, or or Xplit. You have to pay like I think fifteen a month for that. OBS is much easier in yeah. my opinion. It's free, but you can just set up a webcam. You plug it in, and it like automatically detects video hardware and games that you're playing. And you can just set it up. You can set up profiles. You can make it to where, say, if you wanted to live, if you will press a button, and it doesn't show the game and only shows your face. There's stuff you can do like that. You can <coughs> record it, and it's already set up. There's already your game there. There's already your face up in the corner if that's what you're doing. Your microphone is already there. It's all synced up with everything. You don't have to worry about dragging files around to line everything up. But with us, or at least with what I do, I like to have more control. I like to say I can have my you know, camera on a separate file. I can have my you know, video on a separate file. But the thing is, it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to start you know, with right, all this you know, fancy hardware. And everything. Especially you know, if you're doing solo. Because exactly. yeah. all the things we have to do it that way, too. All the softwares that come with these yeah. capture devices, you can do it solo, and you can use to upload it straight from the software. Yeah. But with yeah. us, we have three mics, four mics, two, you know, we have all the different mics and different things, so we, we have to do a thing differently. But yeah, if you're doing it by yourself, the software makes it real easy. You just yeah. capture it all in one, push yeah. it up. You won't have the control, but it, it's they make it simple for you. Yeah. That, is, that is the good thing, too. It's it's such an easy hobby to get into. If you want to start Let's Play, and they're like, I like to play One Finger Death Punch when I get off work. Anyone play One Finger Death Punch? I have. I do. There's my guy. Brian, what's your uh, survival kill? <laughs> 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 okay. But, like, if you just want to go home after work and you're like, hey, I want to play this game, but, you know, I want to live stream and I want to record it, put it on YouTube. If you're recording on a computer, like, just playing by yourself, $15 recording software. If you want to do audio, buy a snowball mic, 50 bucks. And you're, that's it. That's all you need to play games and put them on YouTube and be a clown. And here's, a, you don't even need here's a weird thing, yeah, it, it just in case, it, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm about to tell you guys a, a crazy pro tip, but I know everybody here probably knows what what MAME is and what um, any any kind of uh, any kind of ROM, like, uh, yeah, like, a, like Genesis ROMs, Nintendo ROMs, usually those, um, those programs have, have a record button. Like you just literally, like you look at it and it's like record AVI, and you can just record it. So you can play Punch Out and just hit record and play Punch Out, and 
Put it on YouTube. Like, hey, say you're really good at a game. That's what I did with uh, uh, X-Men Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. I played the game. I'm good at it. I, I beat it in like an hour. Played it in the hour. Posted it on YouTube. There you go. And if you, I don't have, I don't have software to like record my voice to where I can be like, hey, here's where I got shot by uh, that one guy on this stage. Yeah. But if you have that, you could do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, no. In fact, ROMs are actually legal if you own a physical copy of the game. Yes, they are. They are. Yeah. If you own a copy of Punch Out, or if you own a copy of Clone yeah. Wars, or any, you know, game that you can get on a ROM, you can legally tell on a ROM and play. It's yeah. so much easier than the. Genesis uh, VCR up converter recorder. Yeah. So much easier to do that way. Yeah. But something I really like about this hobby, if you will, though, it's it's in levels. You can just do the simple thing if you want to. You can just you know get a thing that automatically sets all your stuff up, and you can just sit there and play and record to share with friends if you want to. Yeah. There's stuff like they do. They're they're a bit more professional. They have like I've been to their studio. They have like I said, they have all these these pieces of software, and there's like three microphones. Like one's like pointing at Chris's face. One's like right here. And I'm just like which one do <laughs> you can get complicated like that? There's stuff in them. They just record games and they put it up. They're pure let's play. What I do, I normally sit down with all my stuff. I have my little camcorder and my microphone. I record for 60 minutes, and I chop up the stuff like crazy and like make an eight minute cut, kind of like a highlights reel. There's so many different levels to this that you can do. You can, you know, just simply, you just want to sit down and play a game and share it with a friend. You can, you know, do what they do. They, you, you can keep producing actual content, covering games. Some of the, like, I was actually, they, I, last night, I sat down and watched four or five episodes of a series they did, Super Mario Sunshine. It's very old, very old Nintendo. Six, was, uh, game Game Game, 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 game. I played as a kid. And just watching them play it, yeah, it was just two guys goofing around. It's Brian over here struggling to play the game, never really played it before, and Jared over here. We're already GameCube, so what can I say? Which that, that's the sh that's the shtick with that. Yeah. Yeah. Is Brian doesn't know how to play, and Jared's constantly berating you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, Brian! Jared why do you suck at this so bad? That's the, that's the thing too. If you want to get into this, and like you want to be a YouTube personality, even if you don't aspire to be PewDiePie. If you just want to do it, you want to like, if you want to make people laugh and you want to do it, think of a concept, think of a way you want to do it. If you want to sit down on your couch with a video camera on you, play a video game and say this game sucks and just scream about it, that's how Angry Video Game Nerd got started. When we, when we started this out, we wanted to recreate the feeling of sitting at home on the couch with your friends and just bullshitting around playing a video game and making fun of each other. Exactly what it is. And making fun of how bad we suck at the game, or like, mm -hmm. how can you keep dying on the same guy? Just give me the controller, let me do it. Mm -hmm. so, you know, we wanted to recreate that feeling, and that's kind of what we've done. Yeah, no matter what you do, whether it be a Let's Play or any other type of a video on the internet, if you're doing a channel, be yourself, be, be oh, yourself, yeah, be yourself, sure. yeah. be yes, yourself yes. And let your personality show through if you can, yeah. and, and just let that be what it is. Don't try to be somebody else. Be who you yeah. are, and do it how you want to do it. Because if you do it the way you want to do it, it might be original. If you try to copy somebody else, you're going to be a bunch of just another copy of a copy of a copy. Yeah. So whatever you're doing, games or anything, just be yourself on that video and let your personality be there. Yeah, maybe amp it up a bit. Maybe not. It doesn't suit you, but that's what you should do. I mean, this is my. Well, that's what I love about that's what I love about our dynamic. Like, like you know, me, Chris, Brian, Jared, we're all us. No matter what's going on. When we're playing together, if it's me and Brian playing, it's me and Brian. If it's me and Chris, it's me, it's me and Chris, it's me. You know, yeah. It, we're never characters, ever. Yeah, we're always us. Yeah, we might amp it up. Or something. We, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We, 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 amp, we, we amp it up. Yeah. Well, I definitely amp it up. Yeah. Because I'm, 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 I'm drunk a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> we do it. Yeah. I don't know why we're so laughing. Cool. That's so obvious. <laughs> Sometimes you yeah. get super drunk, Philip, like, oh, jeez, the, the walls are coming down tonight. <laughs> don't beat yeah. them. No, don't beat them. <laughs> no, that's because in Jared's, in Jared's apartment, which, which is where we do it, I'm really loud. I'm super loud, which you can probably tell. Yeah, yeah. we've been... And Jared's like, my neighbors. He's always like, my neighbors. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been almost a year now the neighbor hasn't complained once. Coming, coming up in two weeks... The neighbor yeah, hasn't said nothing yet. Yeah, yeah, this is like at four o'clock in the morning. Full, oh, yeah, yeah. 
I guarantee you, if I walked out the door, walked down the street, all the way to the end of the block, I'd hear Philip. I yeah. swear. <laughs> and this is a full blast. The first, the first <laughs> three months of Game Slayer Ready, yeah. we used to record every week because we used to do two episodes a day, five days a week, which was. Actually, at one point, we were doing two a day for six or seven days a week. Yeah, it was, oh, it yeah. was insanity. But for the first like three or four months, I was like, man, Philip really loves orange juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, like he always has a bottle of OJ with him. He was oh, like, yeah. Was, I'm drinking that was, Yeah, this. that was, you know, it's like, this has vodka. Oh, what a healthy dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just being healthy. But we oh, all do that. Like, uh, <laughs> we, we were playing one night, we were doing a live stream, we went through a couple bottles of wine. Uh, you know, these guys, I, I don't. I'm pretty straight edge. Most part, I will drink, but not, the, I gotta go home, I gotta work well, with Well, he can't be. Yeah. Because, you know. Yeah, I'd love to get night, especially coming home from work. I'd love to get trashed and play the game. Yeah. But, yeah, it's yeah. not happening. He is, he, is, he is a kid. So That's all on the side. He can't do it. Not forcing him. Just stick his blood in the weed. So here's something I want to do. Well, that's, that's a good reason not to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the only reason not to do it, basically. Just having a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you just fucking get trashed all the time. <laughs> here's something that's I want to ask you. Um, how do you pick the games that you play? Like, with us, it's really just. A lot of times with us, it's Philip like, I found my copy of like a simple 2000 game. Oh, let's play it. Let's make 50 episodes off, all right? Yeah. <laughs> so like, how do you pick your games? <laughs> For me, it's it's the same. It's just like, oh, that looks cool. Like I've like um, I've been doing Skyrim. Four-year-old game normally, you know, you don't do it or stuff like that. Except for the, there's this weird threshold with games on YouTube. It seems like if it's a little bit old, nobody wants to know anything about it. But then they're playing games from like before I was born, and everybody's like, ooh, yeah. this is awesome. It's, it's a really weird threshold, but I just like I I knew the games inside and out. And with the videos I'm doing, they really have to be just entertaining. It can't just be me just roaming around in this you know open world, you know open-ended game just messing around. I, I really knew them like the back of my hand, like Skyrim. I mean, I got that game when it came out, and I played it like a hundred hours in the first like few weeks I had it. I mean, I really know the game. I love it, and it's open, so it's kind of like a sandbox. But I generally pick open-ended games like that as well. Almost everything that I do that I enjoy, you know, videos that end up being good are always open world games. Because it's a different experience. Like, if really you play Skyrim versus me playing Skyrim, is going to be really different. Exactly. Exactly. The same thing with mods, too. I've been playing with mods, you know, the modifications to the games and stuff like that. People love that, and it's absolutely taken off. Right now, I am the largest channel that is producing content on Skyrim regularly, as far as, like, actually playing it anymore. There are like people out there with over a million subscribers right now, still doing Skyrim. They're doing mod reviews though. Everything about that game has become very much just, you know, here's stuff you can do. There's some mod that can, you know, make things look better. People doing stuff like that, reviewing the game, you know, just making it better, tweaking it. There's nobody playing it anymore. Anybody who is is a smaller channel is just like making a video to show their friends. So it's a mix of both. It was kind of like I just started playing the game and I'm like. This video is getting more views than I ever got before. What's going on? I did SEO research, which I think Chris can tell you guys a bit about that. That's actually more Brian's thing. Oh, that's more Brian's thing. Okay, yeah, well, basically SEO. optimizing your videos to be found easily. And I found that there was very little competition in this world, especially for what I'm doing, which I just titled them funny moments. It's just 60 minutes of me playing, and then I just chop it up and you know do all these edits and everything like that. So that's why those games are really stuck. I've been doing really well with like Skyrim and Fallout 4. And uh, like Far Cry 4 did really well too. It's always open ended games, but I can always like do all these things. Well, it's like one of the biggest things on YouTube, obviously, is Minecraft, which is the the pinnacle of open ended games. Yeah, yeah. There's like entire channels of it just to it. Yeah. I think that's it's one really thing that made uh, sort of not open ended but similar. Because if you play a game that's like uh, some of the things we do play, side scrolls, it's the same experience almost for everybody. You have to do this this way. Yeah. We play lower than a dangerous space time, and that's a roguelike game. Yeah. Yeah. So every experience is different. Every time the level loads, it's different. I think those videos probably people enjoy yeah. those more because you're not going to see the same video. That's probably every time you that's watch probably it. the reason that yeah. those are popular. Is that's because, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you can bump into anything. You don't like know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen with the commentator. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like I have friends who like you know new videos here and there on Skyrim and Fallout 4 and all these really open games as well. And every single time the game has a completely different feel. I've watched four different people playing through the like first you know 20 minutes of Fallout 4. Yeah. Every single one of them, you get a different vibe, a yeah. different yeah. feeling from it just based on how they look at it. I mean, all right. I'm seeing you know oh, I'm man. just playing. Thanks. I'm yeah. just playing Thank you. You're welcome. What happened? 
He dropped his water bottle. Yeah, anyway. He hasn't even had a drink yet today. So <laughs> <laughs> his skills go up. And I'm already dropping shit. He's a talent. Yeah, it's, uh, he's an absolute talent. Yeah, I just, it's I all good. But, you know, some I've seen some people playing through the game, kind of taking a Dungeons and Dragons approach to it. They're like really getting into their character. They're playing as the character. Not as to not be themselves, but to really just invest in it that way. I've seen people, they're, they're just like me. I'm really just energetic and just a little too excited about everything. Every time. I'm like, oh, what is that? What is well, that? I'm very scary. Young. That'll, that'll lessen that, That'll age. go away. I'm yeah. sure. Burn out. But <laughs> there's some people that are taking more just kind of like, you know, I guess analytical approach to it and to talk about the lore and the game and really get you immersed in the world. Everybody with the open-ended games, it seems like, gives you a different feeling. And that means that tons of people can do it and it's, each time it'll be a different result. That's why I like doing videos focused around those. Yeah. With, yeah. with you guys, it's a let's play. We're playing through a game with you guys, you probably want something more. A lot of times, we've been, me and Phil do a lot of the fighting games, it's like a yeah. one-shot. I want to do, yeah. do stuff that I know is going to be funny with, with me and funny, him, funny. or with like me and Brian, yeah, uh, or Jared, because it's like, yeah, no, Jared wants to do all the Marvel shit, like I said before, and it's like, no, I know I can I can be comedic with him doing that. And Plus so, you have a massive comic knowledge, which helps Oh, yeah, oh, no, games. that's you, yeah, you have sir. Things. You have the, oh, goodness. Everything I learned from this guy. My oh, Mike. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. <laughs> Mike, everybody! <laughs> but that, that, is one, that, that is one side I really do want to make. Don't think that, you know, Let's Play in YouTube is, that's a young man's game. Uh, Phoenix obviously is oh, younger, yeah, Jared's yeah. younger. I'm 30, you're 34. I'm 35. Chris is on the back nine of the 30s. <laughs> And it, it really, if you are older and you want to get into it, you have a different perspective. Like, exactly. uh, Philip and I, we always talk about, like, when we, because we do play more retro games like Soul Reaver. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh man, I'm picking up this game. My thumbs remember how to play. You know, it's like, yeah. you have the muscle memory. You can, like, man, I remember when I bought this game because I bought it back in, you know, 98, 99. Which is kind of what I thought our channel was going to be originally, was talking about those because yeah. the way I got uh, brought in. I was at a lunch with Jared and this guy. And he got over swaggled. And my collection of games got brought up. And I have a massive collection of games. And they were like, what you got what? I'm like, oh, I got the twin sticks for the Dreamcast. I got the whole Steel Battalion 120 button deal. I got the, like, what? I'm like, yeah, man, I got all of it. You need to start a Let's Play channel with this. And I was like, oh, okay. So I thought we'd be talking about that thing. I thought I would have already busted out Steel Battalion and the twin stick. But then we kind of started doing some of these Let's Plays. No, that's going to be an old I enjoy doing the Let's Plays, especially like Philip, because I enjoy getting together, especially if it's a co op game, and just playing. And I didn't ex expect that. I was like, I don't want to just play through a game. So you might find something unexpected. But that's you know kind of how I got roped in, just bringing up those retro games. He talks like we roped him in. We <laughs> sat down at lunch one day, like, hey, we're kind of thinking about doing the Let's Play channel. Let's do this. You know, maybe let's talk about it. He comes to work because uh, three of us work together. He comes to work the next day. So I bought two hundred dollars worth of equipment. We're doing this, right? I don't like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to talk. I like to do. Say we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It was like, well, we are now. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Chris. Honestly, we probably would have talked about it and never done it, but well, Chris, Chris really was the one who took the initial plunge. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So and I definitely want to bring Philip in. He wasn't at that meeting. I was like, we got to bring Philip in. Yeah, yeah that's what I. Yeah, all of a sudden, like one day, Chris was Phillip. it a phone call? <coughs> Maybe or a text, probably. Probably a text. Yeah, he Modern was like, time. yeah, hey, uh, got these guys, uh, Jared and Brian, want to do a Let's Play channel, and I was like, Brian, what? Because yeah. we know another guy named Brian who sucks. But he also knew Brian from a previous... Yeah, Philip and I were actually in a, uh, a previous <laughs> YouTube bitch where we did a short-lived series called I, Pat and Ollie Take on Life, which was... Found them. Yeah, you found them and you showed our our viewers them. We were trying to keep them straight uh -huh. in, but... Karina, That's fine. No, Karina showed no, they're, you and she they're showed good. everybody else. They're, they're good. They're, they're, they're funny. Good. It was they're just, funny. They're it genuinely was, funny. It was actually kind of the same thing we did now, where it's just like me and Phil, like, we picked character names, like, as these people we were going to be. Yeah. We played roommates, then we just bullshitted lines for 15 minutes, and it was, okay, it was funny. We liked it. But then it just never went <laughs> Yeah, that was an even weirder conversation. <laughs> yeah, when Chris was like, hey, you want to do this thing with Brian? Because, yeah, and I'm like, no, no, I hate that guy. <laughs> You're like, no, no, uh, 
Brian, Brian, uh, well, my, our, our names are on the Oh, our names are on the <laughs> It sounds like a made-up last name. It does. It does. It really does. See, I'm used, to, I'm used to doing this kind of thing on the channel, so I'm always, I'm always wary about saying my last name constantly, <laughs> yeah. or, or saying anything about my personal life. It's, it's crazy. You got to decide what level of comfort you have. With, yeah, yeah. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm really, not comfortable yeah. with it. Chris isn't comfortable because obviously, you know, we have day jobs and kids yeah. and kids and families. Yes. yes. Me, it's just me. I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 I'm an ass in real life, so you see me act. Literally, the way I act on the channel is a slightly exaggerated version of my everyday self. Because I, I'm kind of a jerk. <laughs> just because so I'm, nice I'm, I'm, the you know, I'm, I'm blunt. I've always been blunt, but like I joke, I make stupid jokes, I make stupid jokes that don't land, and I'm like, oh well, screw you guys for not laughing. I thought it was funny as hell. Go make dumb jokes all the time. I got you. Um. Moving on, you, you mentioned a little while ago about the uh, the SEO part of this. Oh man! Do you still favor <laughs> go online, start looking up how to do SEO, it's how to optimize your videos? I had a bit of help because I have a buddy over in like California that like works at Frederator, and they like he, he did their SEO work for them for their YouTube channel. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. I, so I had somebody who taught me, but it's just it's just it's so hard to get your mind around how to get your videos out there because you can just go around and tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, but where that a lot of that growth comes from is your stuff being, you know, easy to find. You know, you need to really design the specific keywords. You really need to kind of, I guess, get in the head of how the YouTube algorithm works. Like me, I have a video right now that I worked really, really hard on to get, like, SEO-wise up there. It was a tutorial I did on how to do basic, like, you know, portraits of art. It was just it was just taking a picture of your face, doing an outline, filling in flat colors. It was really, really basic stuff. But I designed it so to, I made, like, t God, sorry, keywords, you know. That's a, that's a prime thing. How you can find these is, you, can, you know, you can look up. There's a lot of things online to where you can type in a keyword. Say your video, it was a program called paint.net that I was using. So I put that in here. I look for popular searches, and you just have to do all this research to find what keywords will like hit and what people are looking for. And a very and two very popular hits that I found that weren't really being filled by a lot of competition, bigger channels making videos on the same thing, were uh, cartoon character and paint on that and just generally how to make a cartoon character. So I spent all this time researching all these tags and you know things to put in the description. And now if you look up just paint.net in the search bar, my video is on top right there with over a hundred thousand views. It's, this stuff can really get you out there. Same thing with me doing my gameplay stuff. Um, right now, you search up Skyrim Funny Moments. I'm like right there, right there, Fanny's Coffee. But this stuff takes a long time to research and sometimes you, like, it's all about finding a gap in the keywords to find what people are searching for in keywords that aren't being filled by bigger competition. And sometimes you're not gonna find a gap at all. Sometimes there's gonna be bigger channels, the PewDiePie's out there with their millions of subscribers that you can't compete with them. With the Skyrim thing, I got a lucky break because right now there's nobody doing that, like at all. All of the videos on that were done two years ago by the bigger channels, so they're kind of irrelevant at this point. So I could I, I could get up there higher <coughs> search results after tedious research on keywords. Now there's a lot of people on YouTube that make videos about this. There's a lot of people. I think there was um, I think his name is Drifter on YouTube, like with a with a zero instead of an L. He did a video on that as well, with setting up tags. Very, very complicated, very, very confusing, but it's something you, if you really want to be serious about this, research. Research how to get in there, because that's how you're gonna reach your people. You want to be able to find where all the people are, but there's nobody meeting that demand. So, uh, it's good, good example I wanna throw in oh, with this. Like, hopefully you can you? explain this a little bit more simplistically. <laughs> I think I kinda of <laughs> there, there isn't a There isn't a simple way to Kyle Ren up here looks just very confusing. Sorry. Um, all right. Somebody, like what, what's control. a game that you think you would want to play on YouTube or you'd want to look for on YouTube? What's a good game you'd want to do? You need to get inside the viewer's hands. Well. Yeah. No, no, I'm asking legit. Like, name a game. Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon. All right. You want to do a video on Darkest Dungeon, you got to make sure you have all the relevant keywords of Darkest Dungeon. Like, name all the characters for Darkest Dungeon. You need to have those. You need to have, like, the name of the dungeons, the name of the areas. Think of every possible way you can misspell Darkest Dungeon. Oh, I bet. Oh, that's a, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yep. 
<laughs> well, I'll, I'll D-A car, D-A-K-S-T-D-U-N-G-N. Someone's going to search for that. Well, if it's, if it's like, a, if you, you can actually run it through, like I said, there's free things on Google to where you can put in a keyword and it shows you search volume versus competition and all stuff like that. You can run like a typo like that, and if there's a ton of people accidentally searching that a day, you can cash in on that, you know, they can type it up, and it's like, oh, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking for Durgus Durgus I was looking for that game. Just put it in the tag. It's my favorite. Up. Yeah. Nobody, you, speak, you don't need to spell anymore, really, with Google <laughs> and YouTube. It just, it just shows you what it like, is. It's like you smash you your can, face on a keyboard, yeah. and Google's like, oh, you were looking for a recipe? Yeah, for I mean, you can misspell <laughs> dungeon all day, and it will show you. It'll be like, did you mean dungeon? Exactly. It's like, yes. Yeah. Seems like that as well. I was going to say, we are, we're about the halfway mark. Yeah, we're beyond that. A little, 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 little after, so you, uh, you guys want to take questions? You guys have any questions Anybody for us? Has? Have, yeah. I have a quick question. Oh, he has a question. Would y'all ever be willing to play a Super Smash Bros. game all for you against each other? Uh, we uh, we did, did that oh, already. We did a lot, actually. Yeah, we, yeah, we like did, Smash yeah. Brothers we haven't played yet is the Wii Smash Brothers Brawl. And uh, the only guy who's not here is uh, the best at the game. Yeah. And, I hate, <laughs> and I hate him for it. <laughs> every every time play we play play it. character too, Link. So I don't know yeah. how much that plays into it. Uh, uh, so like, let's play original Smash, I'll beat you all. And it's like, oh, you're going to pick Link, okay. <laughs> That's how we're doing this. That's been a running joke since the beginning of the channel was hashtag Jared wins. One thing we do with yeah. Smash is train some Amiibos and have like each of us train an Amiibo and throw our Amiibos in there and just watch what happens. Yeah, now we haven't done that yet. Digital yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Amiibo <laughs> not quite. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to be fun yet. if we ever do that. That'll be great. Else? No one? Alright, so we're talking right. about the artwork. <laughs> so, yes, yes. Yes. You guys both do artwork for. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to oh, we're gonna talk about artwork now? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> Phil, uh, oh, Phil me? actually Phil. hand draws. Oh, yeah. He actually hand draws the. Um, the art that's on every yeah, single one. Yeah, I hand draw everything that's on, our, on the thumbnails for all the. Um, what are they called? Thumbnails. Mine? Yeah, uh, thumbnails. Uh, yeah. Just thumbnails for the YouTube videos. Yeah, I hand draw everything because uh, I was like, yeah, hey, it would be neat if we actually had a hand drawn picture for every thumbnail, <coughs> whatever, you know, whatever game we're playing. I'll draw a picture of something from the game. And that's what I'm doing. And, um,. Uh, if, you want, if you want to do, if you want to make, if you want to make it pop, if you're going to do hand drawn stuff and you want to make it pop, because now I guess I can talk about the technical side of art. Yeah. Because this guy, man, he knows everything about YouTube. Holy shit. Some of your more like stylized, kind of like off the channel work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I do, I do, I do. I also do stuff off. Yeah. Off yeah, the you channel. pretty much run our Instagram. Yeah, I'm running the Instagram, and I do a lot. I draw a lot of pictures just specifically for that. So hopefully, people will come check out the YouTube channel. Yeah. But uh, if you want to do, uh, if you want to do something that pops and it's hand drawn for a thumbnail, uh, get yourself a bunch of those um, those silver sharpies. Yeah, because you because the if you outline them with those. If you outline your 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 drawings with a silver sharpie, uh, it pops when it's small. That's yeah. originally why I started doing it, because I was like, these are going to be really small. People need to see it. I'm going to outline it with this sharpie. That's and a big mistake a lot of people make too. They like look at it on their monitor, you know, full, and they're like, yeah, yeah. I can see this. Yeah, okay, and then, exactly. But you got to realize, like, I think I forget what the stat was, but I think like half of people watch YouTube, watch it on mobile device. You really need to make yeah. everything and you really need visible. And you need to see it, and it needs to pop. And that's exactly. originally why I started doing it, and then it just stuck. I do something very similar. Like, I do, he does hand-drawn <coughs> stuff. I do everything digitally, and for, for my stuff, I just, what I do is I, you know, copy the background, add blur to it, and, right. like, make it make it a white outline, basically, around mine. So I do something similar to yours. Yeah. I have mine, it's kind of like, almost like comics, if you will, just general, you know, pretty simple cartoon characters. With the white outline too, just make it pop from the background. Yeah. Usually, like the, you know, darker backgrounds. Yeah. I don't know if you realize it, but um, I'm actually. And this goes back to like do what you know and bring what you know to your channel. Like I actually have a background in graphic design. That's what I've done for work. That's what I was trained in college. But without, I guess you know, because I don't know if you ever did that, but without knowing it, 
that's the oldest trick in the book to get something to pop on a background. Yeah, it's like exactly. drop shadow, exterior glow. Oh. That is the easiest way to get something to look like it's popping out of the art. Exactly. Like for, especially like I'm, I do like very thick black outlines around mine too, so it's like black, yeah, white. It just makes it just look like it's there. Yeah, so that's another thing that works. But, with. Yeah. But they're like coming from backgrounds to where they like learned in school. Me, like I have absolutely no formal training or anything at all. Oh no, I don't have formal training. I have no formal training. You don't, you don't either. No, no, I have no formal. I, I didn't. I just, it's just something that struck me as fun because my dad did it and he did paintings. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I want to do that too. And then I started doing it when I was like seven. And seven. I just did it and I just kept doing it and I got better. Which is what is what happens when you are just doing something all the time. Yeah, so you what's, get the, what's the old adage? It takes ten thousand hours to get good at something. That's, yeah. It yeah. takes ten thousand hours of drawing to be good at drawing. Yeah, pretty much. It, yeah, exactly. And it does go in with the uh, if you want to be serious about it, if you want to have a let's play channel, you're like, I want to have a let's play channel. I want it to grow. I want people to see me. I want to become a YouTube personality. You kind of have to. It, it goes into the branding, and I really wish Jared was here. Talking about the branding because that's his forte, but so you can talk about his nose. <laughs> well, I love the joke. Uh, if you ever watched our videos? I joke about Jared's nose all the time. Yeah, all the time. He's otherwise a flawless human being, so that's my one area I get to make fun of him with. But uh, picking a branding, picking your graphics, making your graphics early, kind of sticking to similar color themes, similar you know structures for videos. You know, decide what you want to do. Like uh, with our videos, our main, our main videos are blue. The backgrounds are blue. Our live streams are all purple. When we do a special, like when we did Mortal Kombat Week, where we just played through the, all the story modes on the new Mortal Kombat, that was special, so we did red. Which that's the uh, mm -hmm. that's the uh, signature now, isn't it? For special stuff, is the red. Yeah. The red background. Yeah, we do the red background yeah. for special stuff, and then when we do like reviews. And how to use things was wrong yellow. I have something like similar with thumbnails. Not so much as a color scheme, but usually I do cartoons for my thumbnails as well. They almost always appear on the right side. I use that as a tool if it's something that's like special or significant that I really just want it to catch somebody somebody's eye. Like that's different. I'll, I'll swap it. Uh, swap it to the left side because I know it's just like something that you wouldn't even think about. But whenever it's that different, that you know, contrast, people will be like, that's different. Click on it. So, and the reason for all that talk is if you want to do a YouTube channel and you need to have thumbnails, which we didn't really say, but that's obvious, but you don't want to just go with whatever YouTube picked for you and no. it's there. You want to create a thumbnail, maybe one that really represents your channel, and there's still hit or miss on the thumbnails in a way, you know, we just don't know how much it weighs in on our video views or... Yeah, which is really, yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's, uh... We make it complicated because there's four of us. Like I think Mark Brian does the, you know, he yeah, actually does yeah. the thumbnails. But I mean, you can find uh, you can find a uh, uh, PNG. Yeah, just out. Just you, can find, you can find a PNG file for almost any logo for a game ever. Yeah. Possibly and, a character from the game. Yeah, or a character yeah. from the game, and you can just download that, go to Photoshop, get a picture of the game you're playing. Throw that up there, boom. There, there's, there's your thumbnail. And there's it's actually, pretty, uh, yeah. There's actually browser extensions for YouTube. We, you know, no one else uses it because I do all the SEO and everything for the channel. But uh, I use something called TubeBuddy, mm -hmm. and TubeBuddy will actually generate thumbnails for you. Oh, really? Like if you give it your assets, you're like, this is the font I use. This is, you know, my logo for the channel. Mm -hmm. It'll actually generate for you. Oh, all that's fine. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if no one has any more questions, we can probably. Call it an end. I mean, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for fun. thanks for all the people that stayed the whole <laughs> time. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for staying the whole time. I feel like I feel like oh. a gradual clock. Yeah, no, no, it was, a, it, was a, it was a gradual slip away. Like people were like, <laughs> "Well, here's this is sucks." This is the and then they walked as, out. <laughs> as we went into more detail, and it seemed to get harder and harder. People weren't really into this. Well, yeah, yeah, one yeah, thing well. we didn't one thing we didn't realize until we got here and actually looked at the schedule. The costume contest is yeah. starting. Which we can oh, see you guys. Which you guys will run to it now. So, so, okay. so oh. if you guys want to run down see that, we're not going to run to it. Well, Andy was like Yoda. Andy won. No? Yes. Matt's like, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll take that, Yoda. All right, guys. Thank you.
very much. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. We really appreciate it. So if you draw us now. No, no, I'm not going to draw us now. I was going to do my, uh, not really, no. I'm going to do one of my favorite guys. Just to hope that somebody shows up. Thanks, guys. Very important.